we have created technologies to extend our life, but we haven't created life that we want to extend. Sergey Young, he's the author of the book, The Science and Technology of Growing Young, and he's the founder of the Longevity Vision Fund. Sergey invests in technologies that are extending the human lifespan, but not just extending the human lifespan, but making us live longer while being healthier. So Sergey, welcome to the Mind Valley Podcast. The way to think about longevity is first, there's something what I call a near horizon of longevity innovations. This is something which will be available to us in the next 10, 20 years. And this will actually help us to break this sound barrier of 120, 130 years, the maximum lifespan on Earth. Is the second piece is what I call the far horizon of longevity innovations. And this is something which will be available to us in the next 25, 50 years. It's really far away. It's some fascinating, but also scary stuff like human avatars, human brain computer integration, nanobots which are flown inside our uh, blood. It's the world which consists not only of internet of things, but internet of bodies. Within this framework, within this like 25, 50 years horizon, uh, technology is important, science is important, but ethics are important as well. So from what I understand, there are four primary reasons that we die. It is heart disease, cancer, yeah. Alzheimer's, and I believe the fourth is diabetes. Is that correct? Yes. Yeah. So oh. I call it killer monster diseases. 90% of deaths after age of 50 happens due to these four diseases, killer monster diseases. 90, 90. So it's diabetes, right. cancer, heart disease, and neurodegenerative diseases, including Alzheimer. Right. So, and then our chances to get and die from this disease increase exponentially after age of 45, 50. This is where aging processes started in, inside our body manifest themselves. A after the age of 45. Okay, great. Yeah. So I just turned 45 or 46, whatever age I am. So I'm, I'm at the perfect time for this podcast. And thank you for picking 45. You could have just said 50 and made my day better. <laughs> You look, there's always like every day is a great day to start working on your longevity and your health. I do believe if we want to live beyond 150 years, right? And we all need to understand that we're talking about decades or even a century today, right? But let's let's took this longer term perspective. I do believe in our current biological form, it will be almost impossible to live beyond 150 years. So when I talk about the far horizon of longevity innovation, and I actually I do agree with the, with the audience that we have uh, live today, I can just you know, I'm just looking at questions and comments. Actually, when when I talk about all these technologies, there's half of the discussion is about technology, but half of the discussion is about the ethics. I've just done my right. TEDx talk yes. on morality yes. of immortality. And the whole notion is like, we build these technologies to extend our life, but we still haven't created life that we want to extend. 60 to 80% of people, based on their ethical concerns and bad experience with aging in their family and with the loved ones, don't want to extend their life. So let's come back to that. 